Okay, remember that I am not gay and they're changing my voice. Another reason that I'm right, that the sabotage blew up in their face, right? Them sabotaging me blew up in their face. Is that God said to man through me in reality and through the idea of me historically. He said, you know, there's enough snares and traps and temptations in place. The way the governments are structured, the nature of justice and righteousness and wisdom and insight, these things all come together to make it so that if you don't carry your cross and accept persecution for doing what is right, and instead you try to find your life, that you're done because you've broken the greatest commandment. If you love God with all your heart, it leads you to being persecuted while you're doing the right thing. If you do unto others as God would have you do unto them in a morally precise way, which is what God would have you do, then it leads you to being persecuted. There's no way around it. I know for so many reasons. I've analyzed other people's tactics and they are laughable. They're wrong and they don't love God and it sticks out like a sore thumb. The Lord weighs their heart and their motives. And so it is with attractive females' judgment. When it comes to me, the opinions of attractive females in regards to what they should do does not matter. All that matters is romantic justice. Is it just to reject me? No. Those who think that it is, especially if they do, they live Dionysian theater arts bullshit propaganda witchcraft garbage. That's part of why they change my voice and speech patterns to confuse you about things because they know if you think clearly or anywhere near clearly, they're going to see that, you know, that you're going to see that there's a difference between living in reality like a man and be a Dionysian worm. There's a difference between having the heart to accept Jesus and see that anyone who would have you reject me is your enemy, your parents, your friends, your siblings, no matter who it is, that they're, they're your enemy and you should hate them. And being a little worm female who tries to conform and make the best of this evil world and tries to live a long, wicked life in this evil world instead of, excuse me, instead of accepting persecution with the most righteous person that ever lived. There's no words for how much females who reject me because it must come out of wickedness when we consider the details, the specifics. There's no words for how much they deserve to be flogged to death while people are screaming at them, how could you, you selfish bitch? But they don't get that. 